I always loved any time I met a relative, uh, like a cousin of my daddy's, and they would have stories to tell me about. And I love to hear those stories. Uh. He uh, was drafted, and so he went um, to Camp Shelby, Mississippi, and he also went to Tyler, Texas, and then from there he was sent to Europe. He was not um, the type, from what people have told me, to be a hero, but because um, he was like calm and peaceful and uh, got along with people and, and it just I, from what I've been told that wasn't his personality he wasn't a warrior but I think it seemed that he had just gotten so uh, uh, overwhelmed with everything that he was seeing and doing until uh, it's like I've got to do this he he t took his gun, uh, I believe they said it was a BAR, Browning rifle, and he charged into a machine gun nest. And uh, they saw him fall as he was charging, but he received the Silver Star because he took out several Germans as he was doing that. I was born August 10th, 1944, and my father was killed in Belgium at the Battle of the Bulge on January 3rd, 1945. Uh, I had not seen him, but he had seen pictures of me. And one thing that I read in one of his letters said, uh, she looks like me, she looks just like me. Back when I was younger, I would get, you know, in the middle of the bed and I'd read them all through. And sometimes I would cry uh, just because they evoked a feeling of uh, what had I missed. And uh, one of the things that I remembered was him talking about his feet hurting so bad and his socks always being uh, wet and cold uh, because it, where he was in Belgium, it was very, very cold. I know this is kind of odd, but I, um, not having known him, I didn't know to miss him. And But I have often wondered how my life would have been different if he had lived and how would my personality be different if I had had the input of a father. Like I see my daughter sitting on her daddy's lap and I never had that. So I grieve that kind of what I didn't have. And I also treasure this. Uh, it's a letter from um, Franklin Roosevelt, the president at that time. Uh, and it says, he stands in the unbroken line of patriots who have dared to die that freedom might live and grow and increase its blessing. Freedom lives and through it he lives in a way that humbles the undertaking of most men. It's like a connection to my dad and makes me very proud and it makes me uh, feel proud of my heritage, where I came from. And uh, I think about him and wonder if he would like what I have become. And uh, always when I was growing up and uh, when I was introduced to somebody or they'd say, hey, this is Lawrence's baby. And so I, I had that feeling, you know, that uh, they were proud of me and my family. Just cling to what you have uh, 
any relationships uh, with extended family, cling to those uh, and, and as much as possible don't dwell on what you've lost. Uh, but always try to live so that you would make your father proud of who you've become. And a strong spiritual relationship with God, knowing that one day you will get to see your father and you'll get to be with him and ask him questions that you didn't get to here on earth.